just something terrifying about guys with crazy hand speed. And that certainly applies to this young man. Punches and bunches. As good a combination striking game as we've seen in the UFC in years. And you gotta think the accumulation of punches, which have worn down lesser opponents, could wear down his opponent here tonight. It's one thing to see the hand speed on film. It's another thing to see it in your face on fight night. We'll see how this matchup plays out tonight. This guy has world-class takedown defense. He is incredibly difficult to take down. And once you do get him down, he gets back to his feet very swiftly. So as this knockout force makes his way to the octagon, Joe, this is not a guy you want to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and trade punches with. You get in a slugfest with this guy more often than not. You're concussed, twitching on the canvas. You can be sure he'll be looking to make contact and find a home for those heavy hands early and often. Power for days, power in all of his strikes. Scary, scary addition to this division and a guy who a lot of people believe will be an immediate contender. This guy has tremendous ground technique, and his ability to pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 25 years old, and they both possess a similar height and reach. We send it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 223 pounds. Fighting at a Boulder Gorse, Ukraine, the great. And now he's the fighting at the red corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Nagoya, Japan, Assassin! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavigne. The veteran Eve Lavigne draws the assignment you here. You ready? All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see. Oh! Oh, you heard him. Oh, flying. Big left. Looks like he's got a Kimura here. Can't quite get it. He adjusted the arm bar. Break the grip. That's it. That's it. That's it. Great job in establishing that submission. Well, yeah, Joe, that was fun while it lasted. He told us he wanted to be at his most efficient here tonight. He certainly didn't waste a lot of time. He knew he wanted to get the fight to the ground. He gets the early takedown, and the submission follows shortly thereafter. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. All right, let's go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop for this contest at one minute, 18 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. The Bruce. So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And how good was that? I mean, you talk about maximizing a UFC.